Hi, I'm your host, dos 350 underscore legit, and I'd like to welcome you all to a show I like to call Tuna Review. Now, in this special episode of Tuna Review, we're going to be covering Serena Tuna. Oil, Italian star. So let's just jump straight into it. Make sure to smack that. Like and subscribe for more exclusive content when it comes to tuna only on DOS 350 underscore legit at Twitter. So let's just jump straight into it. It says right here in this Serena tuna oil Italian style caught by hand one fish at a time now I when I think of that I imagine instantly George Clooney being out on a boat freaking out going burr, 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 burr. that's how I picture tuna being caught I could be wrong make sure to comment if you know what I'm talking about now says serena.com.au first before we dive too deep into this i'd like to point out that there is a super slippery mermaid on the packet that's an instant tick in my book it's better than the boring tuna fishes but there's also a few little tunas as you can see here swimming around the uh, can it's a nice striking yellow and red design so let's just get straight into it it's 95 g's of tuna in this can italian spaghetti style it says dolphin safe it's, it's uh it's dolphin friendly that's just that's pretty good. It's got a tiny little thing. I'm going to have to do a 350 eyeball reveal to be able to make it out. Drift net free, it says. Wow, wow, wow. It's just a bit too dark for my little 350 eyes to make that out with these goggles on. But it's, it's drift net free, whatever, the, whatever, whatever that is. And it's recyclable. They got the little... The... Uh, those three symbols on top of each other. The middle one was the one I couldn't see properly. Drift net free. I guess drift nets are bad for dolphins. Floating about, they get caught up. Brrr. That's the sound of a dolphin when it's caught in a drift net. It says here, produced for Serena, in brackets Australia, PDY Limited. Distributed by Iconic Food Distribution, PDY Limited. And, uh, that's all right. Iconic. Like Madonna, you know what I mean? Level 14, 222 Exhibition Street, Melbourne, 3000, Victoria, Australia. Now let's just jump straight into the ingredients, or what we've all been waiting for, a deep dive into the nutritional breakdown of a spaghetti Italian-style tuna fish. Make sure to smash that bell button for more nutrition information only. Exclusive on DOS 350 Tuna Review. Now the ingredients happen to be 73.5% tuna. 73.5% tuna. And it's got in brackets pole and line cord yellow fin. It's yellow fin. It's not a stupid little blue fin. Oil, 25%. Sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil. So it's 23% oil. 25%, excuse me. And for the last 1.5%, you got sea salt. Just to, you know, salt things up a bit. And that's alright. And it says... Contrary to many other tuna fishes that I've 
had in my lifetime, which say, consume immediately. This one here happens to say, refrigerate content after opening. So that's okay. You gotta refrigerate it. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna eat it up like a wild feline in the uh, alleyways outside of a fish and chip shop restaurant in the middle of Vulture Street. But that's outside the scope of this video. It says on the back here, right underneath the ingredients, packed in, wait for it, Indonesia. From local and imported ingredients. All natural ingredients. So let's just jump straight into the energy nutrition breakdown. What do they call it? Nutrition information in brackets drained. And that makes sense because it's going to be drained. There's just no doubt about it. I'm not going to pour slippery dippery um, you know, can of sunflower oil into my dinner, no way, I'm going to drain it like Pablo. So let's just jump straight into it. Uh, servings per pack, one. Serving size, 70 Gs. Average quantity per serving. An average quantity per 100 G's, that's the breakdown. There's not even 100 G's in it, but that's the breakdown. So we're only going to be looking at average quantity per serving for this video. Energy. 473 kg. It's not much. Protein, 16 G. 16.8, in fact. Fat, 4.9. And the breakdown is saturated. 1.3 trans, O.0, which we like. Polyunsaturated, well that's 1.8. Omega-3, DHA, and EPA, 95 milli G. Monounsaturated, mono 1.6 G. Carbohydrate total, well that just so happens to be zero. Sugar, zero. Sodium, 336 milli. Now, Uh, that is pretty much all the packet says, except for the top here, it's got a stamp on it that says Poland wine sustainably caught, and uh, one fish at a time. Couldn't see a little use by date anywhere, I don't think. But that doesn't matter to a guy like me. No, I'm gonna just add that I got this on special at Coles for $1.15. And it's usually a much more expensive tuna than that, so... A dollar fifteen for a guy like me, for a tuna like this. Wow, wow, wow. I'm living the life. Alright. Well, that covers the packet. Now, I am going to open this tuna, so the tuna uh, review is turning into a tuna, tuna unboxing. So let's just jump straight into it. I've got my little protective plate here so I don't get any little sunflower oil on myself. So let's just get straight into it. Whoops, it's open. Wow, wow, wow. And it's volatile. I'm going to have to take my eyes up a little bit so I don't spill this. It's critical. Let's just see if we can see in here. Wow, 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 that's the tuna. That's what we're looking at. So, I'm going to go and have my dinner now. And I'm going to report back the facts exclusive here first on DOS 350 Legit Tuna Review. So make sure to smack that. Alright, dinner time. Spaghetti and oil, Italian style. Bon appetit. Alright, I'm back, and I've had the tuna, aka my dinner, it's all gone, and, well, 
I'm pleased to be able to inform, inform you all that Serena Tuna, Italian style in oil, is highly recommended by Dust 350. Now, allow me to just break that down so you know all the little nitty itty gritty 350 details. When you go to make your next tuna fish purchase. Now, we covered the can in, in, in detail. And it's empty now. And it's in my belly. So, i just like to say that... It's a good fish. Tastes great. Uh, nice texture. You know, it's not too mushy. Not too flaky. It all stays together in the can once... The oil's been drained out, it doesn't go falling out everywhere. Um, it's kind of quite, quite dry tuna itself. The color is pretty white on the outside, with a bit of red on the inside of the actual tuna. Light red. And uh, just tastes great. Not much of a strong flavor, but a good texture and a good savory, fishy taste to get the job done. Can I suggest that it goes great with noodles? Just goes fantastic with noodles. So, if you see this tuna fish on sale at your local tuna retailer, be sure to slap a few of them in the trolley as well as smacking that like and subscribe bell button here on dos 3 video underscore legit. And have a great family meal that the kids are gonna love. It's got all the omegas they need. Doesn't have any trans fats. And it's just, it's just a, in general a great superfood. Sustainably caught with pollen line and not a single drift net. I'm feeling good. I'm spaghetti fueled. Italian style, so I'm a satisfied customer is what I'm trying to say Much much better than a lot of other tuners I've tried Some tuners I won't even touch because they may contain traces of crustacea, but it's like None of that in here even though it is packaged in Indonesia I can forgive him for that, because it just tastes oh so good. And George Clooney and his friends out there with the poles and lines. Madonna fishing out there on the seven seas. They've done a good job. Sustainable. Environmental. You know. Delicious. And that about sums it up. I'm gonna say one more time that... You're better off if you smack that like and subscribe button for your first number one responder source of uh, tuna facts and figures. We're only on DOS 350. And I'll see you next time. Stay fishy.